Right, for those of you getting a jump start on your taxes, scammers, they are hard at work right now, too. Some are even impersonating the IRS through voicemails, emails, even text messages. Ted investigate Jennifer Titus here now with what you need to know to keep your money safe. Millions, that's how much money people have lost to tax scams. And it's not just a financial scam. Your personal information is up for grabs, too. So here's what you need to know to keep yourself safe. Let's take a deeper dive. The best way to avoid tax identity theft is to file your taxes as early as possible. The IRS does not, let me repeat that, does not contact taxpayers by email, text messages, or social media. And if they do contact you by phone, they will never tell you that you have to pay up then and there. Here's Brian Oglesby with the Better Business Bureau. If you have questions, it's important to go directly to the IRS website, the .gov. Make sure you're going to the correct website and you're reaching out to them and you're asking questions. And that .gov on the end of the web address is important. Scammers have created fake websites that may look like the real IRS site, but if you check the web address, you'll notice it just doesn't look right.